Hey, what's up, guys? It's Patrick HDX Gaming, and welcome to my Scorpion Kick tutorial for FIFA 12. I will show you some examples from the training ground and explain you how it works. Okay, I think the Scorpion Kick is the most difficult shot in the game, and for this reason, I would recommend you to go to the training ground first before you try this in a real game. I scored a nice Scorpion Kick goal here, and I want to show you the controls you need first. It's very simple. Just hold L2 while pressing the shot button repeatedly. It's so important to press the shot button repeatedly as much as you can, so keep that in mind. But that's not all guys, I will explain you the secret behind the scorpion kick now. As you can see on my examples here, you can perform this shot everywhere on the opponent's half if you want, but there is one thing you have to note. The ball has to be played high into the run of your teammate. This raises your chance to perform a scorpion kick so much. Your teammate has more time to focus the ball before, just imagine that it's you in reality, it's so much easier to do this if you have time to prepare it. You can get this effect by running in front of your teammate and then do a cross at his running line. The best method to do a cross is a lob pass which you can do with pressing triangle while holding L1 on the PS3 or if you're on the Xbox just press Y while holding LB. And then comes another important aspect. Right after you passed or crossed the ball to your teammate, right after it, start holding L2 and then press the shot button repeatedly as much as you can as I said before. So this was the easiest method, but just the best in my opinion. You can also cross the ball to your player with an early or low cross, but this isn't very effective, so I would recommend you to use the first method. If you want to check my tutorial about the different types of crosses, just click the screen now to get there. Ok guys, all in all you have to keep in mind that pressing the shot button repeatedly while holding L2 right after you pass the ball is so important. It's also important to have the best situation and you can easily get this if you are playing a lob pass or cross into the run of your teammate. That's all I have to say guys and at the end I just wanted to say you that this is very difficult so don't give up if it's not working for you directly and that you can send me a video response of you scoring a scorpion kick. So, if this helped you guys, it would be also great if you could share this on Twitter or Facebook, so you can also help me out. Please leave a like and comment and don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already. There is still more to come. See you next time guys. Peace.